Mayor Pro Tem, members of City Council, my name is Dan Childs. I live on Childs Lane in Bodark, Missouri. Um, I'm here tonight largely because of unfinished business, and the reason I'm passing this around is because I hope to be able to show this on the big screen so everybody can see it, but what this is is a photograph I took of OTC spreading um, pounds and pounds of a coal tar sealant, which is used all over Springfield. In fact, the uh, lettering on it shows there's about 200,000 gallons of coal tar sealant poured on city parking lots every year. So uh, that's why I'm talking about that, because we used to talk about that on city council when I was there. But the main thing that I'll talk about tonight is your brand, the City of Springfield brand, and in two parts. First of all, as you all know, we're one of 38 Springfields. So when you're trying to differentiate yourself, you're trying to say I'm special, I'm important, it's hard to do when there's 37 other communities that have the same name. But we've done a good job, I think, because when you go to an airplane, or you're sitting in a convention or an elevator, and you've got a few seconds to talk to someone about the town you're from, you can say, oh, yeah, Springfield, Missouri. We're the place that is family friendly and we encourage vacations and people come here to swim and to boat and to fish. We have water all around us. And so it doesn't take long to say that and then people go, oh, yeah, I get it, like Branson. And you go, yeah, something like Branson. So that brand is what differentiates us from all the 38 other Springfields and it's of huge value. Large corporations that have brands will defend those brands to the death because they work for you 24 seven. They are the thing that gives you your sort of online constant marketing presence and drives people to your websites and brings them to your community. And really, with that brand, we've had immense success. Why? Because that is the number one industry in Springfield, Missouri, in the surrounding area, is tourism. People come here because they think they're going to have a good deal and fun, and they're going to be able to swim. On June 20th, the USA Today did a story, which I passed around by way of email, called Toxic Driveways. And by way of review, this was a story about coal tar sealants that are put on driveways. So um, the, the shorthand of all that is coal tar sealants are derived from coal. So you start with coal and then you heat it up and you drive off all the volatiles and all the, the uh, organic compounds and what you yield is coke. And coke is nearly pure carbon and when you burn it really hot it makes steel. So what you're left over with though is this immense quantities of these partially burned things called PAHs. And the PAH is the original industrial cancer causing agent. And we've known about it causing cancer for over 200 years because that's what causes cancer among chimney sweeps, which is an indirect process of deriving cope. You do it through a chimney instead of a chemical process. So the shorthand of all that is that what PAHs do is that they cause cancer and they kill fish. So you can boil it all down and all the studies are there for you to read on the city website, but that's the two things that it does. It causes cancer and it kills fish. So how do they happen to have that available to put on Springfield parking lots in such volumes? It's because the industry got together with EPA and they decided that, look, if we, if we, if we have to process this stuff, we're gonna to have too much, we won't be able to find enough landfills for it, so we need to find a new use for it. So they started packaging it with clay, putting it in barrels, switching the labels out, and selling it for playgrounds. And there are playgrounds covered with this stuff in Springfield, Missouri, along with about two thirds of the commercial parking lots. It's every place. Why do people use it? Because it's black and it's shiny, and it really makes the yellow stripe show just fine. And the other reason that it's cheap. It's cheap because it's a product that otherwise they'd have to pay to dispose of. So that's the amazing irony. That's how it got here in Springfield, Missouri in those quantities. And now we've become a dumping ground for it. Missouri State is mentioned in the article in USA Today because this city council commissioned a study to find out specifically what was happening with this stuff. Where is it going? Once we put it on parking lots, does it stay there? The answer is no. The study conducted in, uh, at MSU over eight months ago revealed that the stuff washes off of parking lots, as you can imagine. It goes downstream and it lodges in detention ponds and streams and ponds, just like you would imagine. So now we see the conflict. We have this beautiful brand, which is Springfield, Missouri, and we have this dirty little secret, which is about a thousand tons of toxic waste that we put on our streets and parking lots every day. The second reason that a brand is valuable is this map, which is our water supply. If we're gonna be asking people to take care of the water that they have on their property before they send it to us, how can we possibly make that case if we ourselves are dumping a thousand tons of toxic waste on top of our parking lots. So the brand is useful to bring tourists, but the brand is also useful to convince people in the outlying areas that they should take care of the water that they send to us. 
And so for those two reasons, I'd like to encourage you all to take up this topic again, to look at it in the committee, and ultimately to get citizens involved to try to make the decision to protect the good name of the city. Thank you.